then what is the problem? The time paradox of time paradoxes, in other words, the grandfather paradox. Oh, that thing where you kill your own ancestors before you were born. As long as this paradox goes unsolved, time travel can never be realized. Never. What if you just don't kill them? You can't think of it like a sci-fi movie. It's not just about your family tree. There are far greater dangers than that. Really? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Any paradox, no matter how small, could cause the total collapse of causality, relativity, and every other physical law in existence. Paradoxes are nothing more than thought experiments. They cannot occur in reality. And they should not. Nothing that has even a 0.000001% chance of causing a paradox can happen. The universe won't allow it. Wouldn't you say this is a logical conclusion? <laughs> Save this for later. Okay. There may be loopholes like parallel worlds or the self-consistency principle, but those seem too much like fantasy for me to accept. Gah. Grind my teeth. Looks like I have no choice but to concede. Makase Kurasu truly is a genius. That was a lot of time travel. I got more out of... This short five minutes than I did in the entirety of the Back to the Future <laughs> trilogy. I ended up listening to all of Kurosu's lecture at ATF. At the time, uh, after the two time travel theories she introduced at the beginning, she explained the rest with equal eloquence. She seemed a little nervous at first, but that quickly changed as she spoke. By the end, it was an impressive lecture. So impressive that she wouldn't think it was an eternal's first time. But hey, Johnny be good. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. She did well to respond to my malicious questions with sarcasm. She's got guts. Wait, why am I praising her? Leaving that aside. I saw Makase Kurusu dead. And yet she is alive. The memories don't mesh with reality. <clears throat> All right, bedtime, Sora. Gotta go to sleep. Well, <laughs> you get some rest, Sora. And I'm going to be, since this is a anime type game, I'm going to be streaming this episodically daily. So stream tomorrow night. More Steins Gate. I hope it's fun. I'm liking it so far. I'm really enjoying this. It's like really my cup of tea. <laughs> so, uh -uh. until next time, Sora, remember, El Sai Kangaroo. Anyways, uh -uh. and not just my memories of Korosu, but also my conversations with Mayuri. Mayuri. Too. Everything that happens in this reality stands in stark opposition to the world I remember. Everything would be solved if I just told myself what I saw was a dream, an illusion. It never happened. By the time I had snapped out my internal monologue, Daru had wandered off. So be it. I need to focus on finding a way to discover the true cause of my contradicting memories anyway. This leaves me with no choice. I arrive at Yanabayashi Shrine. I need to get exercised. I seriously doubt that Makase Kurusu at ATF was a ghost. Regardless, it's natural to seek an exorcism after such an experience. I'm Japanese, it's in our blood! Yanabayashi Shrine is located on the other side of Kanda River. To find it, enter the first side road after crossing Manasabayashi Bridge. It's a very small shrine that doesn't fit well with the surroundings, multi-tenant buildings. Oh my god! Kanda Mijoni is the more famous shrine in Akiba, but I deliberately chose this one. You're gonna love this. Oh, it's this! <laughs> it's Okarin! There are two girls standing in front of the main building. One is Mayuri, and the other is docile, looking beauty wearing traditional Miko attire. 
Urishiabara Luka. The chief priest's son. Lovely in every way, but he's a guy. Good afternoon, Okabi-san. <laughs> we met when I rescued him from some aggressive phot photographers in Akiba's pedestrian heaven. It also so happens that uh, Lukaku and Mayuri are classmates. I learned that fact after I've gotten to know him. Are you practicing with Simidari like I told you? Yes. Not as epic as the anime. As long as you master the Sin... Uh, Saishin-sama school of swordsmanship, you can prevent the dark flame inside you from consuming your soul. Demon sword, uh... Samadari may be the in may be an imitation sword, and it's only the form it takes to hide from the world. When one worthy to wield it appears, it unleashes its true power. I really appreciate this, Okabe-san. My name isn't Okabe. It's Okarin. I'm sorry, Kiyoma-san. As long as you understand. Now speak the words. Uh, um, El Sai Kangaloo? No, not Kangaloo. Kangaroo! Yes! El Sai Kangaroo. Did, did I get it right? Lukaku smiles happily as I nod. Thank you. Such a beautiful master. It's disciple relationship. Mayushi's not a, a Fujoshi, but she's getting a little excited. Yeah. Mayuri-chan, please don't imagine such things. Please. But we do have a master-disciple relationship. What are you doing here, Mayuri? I came to see Luka-kun. Kamimasu coming up next month, and I want him to cosplay as Kirai-chan from Raina, but he won't say yes. But cosplaying, that's just too embarrassing for me. I'm sure you'll look great in it. The phrase, someone's this cute can't be a girl, is really popular, you know? Come on, make your cosplay debut. Mayuri's hobby is making costumes. She's made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing other people wear them. Looks like she's chosen Lukaku as her next target. Anyway, Lukaku, there's a good reason for me being here today. I need you to perform an exorcism. An exorcism? Then I'll go get my dad. Please, what? No, it's nothing that serious. I just need some peace of mind. That's why I came here instead of Kanda Shrine. But with that said, bring out the usual. Um, the usual? The usual for an exorcism should be obvious. Uh, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's that stick with the zigzagsy paper thingy that the priest does a shaky thingy with. Uh-huh, that sounded really dumb, Okarin. Quite a shock to hear that from Mayuri. God, it's the evil spirit! It's on my arm! Be still, fell spirit! Grr, hurry, Lukaku, it's trying to take over! Mm, no way, please hang in there, Okabe-san. I'm not Okabe-san! I'm sorry, Kyoma-san. Uh, what should I... The exorcism, hurry, just do it, like I taught you. Oh, okay. Um, um. Please, Luca, expel the spirit from me. Ah. Uh. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty. Like I made a frail girl cry voice of a girl, the mannerisms of a girl, more feminine than any girl I know, but he's a guy. Taller than Mayuri, yet oh so slender, but he's a guy. 
Looks stunning in Nico robes. But he's a guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. It's almost evening. It's still hot as hell outside. But he's a guy. I'm okay. Looks like you drove away the evil spirit. Good job, Lukaku. With a sigh of relief, I offer Lukaku my thanks. I'm glad I was able to help. Lukaku gave us some corn on the cob, and Mayuri and I left Yanabayashi Shrine. But this corn was originally sent to Lukaku's home. Lukaku offered to share it with the lab after it proved to be too much for his family to eat. We truly owe Luka for providing us with these valuable supplies. <laughs> Best part. That's a clip. That's a stream clip. Still fired up after Lukaku's exorcism? Mayuri swung her bag of corn about like a sword. Not that I could blame her. I was excited myself. We tried taking a shortcut but found our path blocked off. Reasonable, I suppose, given that the bridge led to Riticon. With our progress halted, Mayuri takes our pocket watch to check the time. It's a very old watch, not the sort you'd expect a high school girl to carry. Its name is Pockety. Ever since elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pockety with her everywhere. It's her most important treasure. If she's concerned about time, it must mean she has to go to work soon. Without saying a word, I extend my hand to Mayuri, offering to take the corn back to the lab myself. Thanks. Well, time for me to go to work. Wait, Mayuri! Back at Redicon, you heard a man scream, right? Scream? When was that again? This afternoon. I don't think I heard anything. Oh, well, alright. Oh, Karin's a weirdo. <laughs> okay. This just got good. We're going full anime! I return to the lab to see a large, fearsome man standing up in front. He's the workshop manager. Actually, the owner of this whole building. Tenoji Yugo. I call him Mr. Braun. It's a fitting name for someone who loves Braun tubes. No sooner had he cut my attention than an unfamiliar woman jumped out from the Braun tube workshop. <laughs> What's up? Uh, um, who is this? What sort of woman greets people like that? Amine Suzuha. And after that nightmare of a greeting, she just introduces herself. Such bold behavior. Could she be an organization spy? Oh, so you're the kid who wants the job interview. Job interview? This young woman? You want to work at the dull, dirty, depressing, debt-ridden brawn tube workshop with this filthy old manager? You want an extra thousand yen added to your rent. My words are but the truth, though I suppose it's not my place to get involved. Anyway, I had no idea that the brawn tube workshop was hiring. You always look so free. I didn't know you needed the help. Actually, I'm the one who begged for the job. The boss refused at first, but I wouldn't take no for an answer. Stage. 18! Ooh, same as me. Why do you want to work here? Because I love CRTs. Hired. You start tomorrow. Wait, is this some sort of joke? Are we on camera? Thanks, boss. Um, who are you? You. Dare ask my name. Banish the thought from your head, girl. To learn it would place your life in jeopardy. 
Countless women have learned my name only to find themselves targets of the organization. Sarah in America, Claudia in Italy, Simone in France. I won't put anyone else in danger. Hey, stop pulling things out of your ass. This idiot rents the second floor. Name's Okabe Rintaro. My name is not Okabe. It's Hoinin. Put it or I'll raise your rent. I'm Okabe Rintaro. <laughs> I don't know anything about this organization that's after you. But if you're ever in trouble, Okabe Rintaro, let me know. I can help with stuff like that. Huh? Stuff like what? If necessary, I can hurt them so bad they'll never bother you again. Mr. Braun, I don't think you should hire her. Yeah, she might be a wild one. I'll fire her if she causes any trouble. Anyway, ignore the organization nonsense. It's all in Okabe's head. It is? <laughs> Freak, gotta go. Good night. <clears throat> Alright, absent cell. Perhaps, hopefully, you can come back tomorrow night for the continuation of Steins Gate. Remember, El Sai Kongaroo. You just keep thinking that. But that's the current trend. Thanks for the tip. Someday the world will kneel before me. <laughs> After I make it back to the lab, I left the broken TV down to Braun Tube Workshop for repairs. The sign of the door says closed, but I know from past experience not to take it at face value. Sure enough, I see Mr. Braun in the workshop, relaxing with a cup of tea. Yo, what's up, Okabe? What's up? That TV you gave me broke, that's what. I bet you were treating it rough, weren't you? Love. You gotta treat him with love. Must have been bald guy talking about love. Since shivers down my spine. I'll need repairs post haste. Man, why do you always talk like that? I see no sign of Suzu Amane, the woman from earlier inside the shop. What do I see? What I do see are CRT screens everywhere. A haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they're all functional, according to Mr. Braun. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screen in HD CRTs that came out just before LCDs took the market. Oh, there's probably just a, a loose solder on the board. I can fix it. Really? Well, then by all means. Hold on. I'll get you an estimate. What? You're charging me? What'd you think? This ain't some charity. You're the one who gave us the TV! Yeah, so what? Never said I'd service it for free. Curse you. You have some gall to say that after fausting a half-broken piece of junk onto us. Well, shut up. If you don't want it, I can take it back. Though I'll have to charge you for its safe disposal. Extortion! Do you dare cheat the men who very well may change the future of mankind? Ha! Huh. Who's that now? Me, of course. Who else? Brush your teeth and go to sleep, kid. You got some nerve to be back talking when I'm letting you rent the second floor for next to nothing. <laughs> you shouldn't have your money, Mr. Braun. I managed to talk him into giving us a temporary replacement TV in exchange for the repair fee. Carried back up to the lab. New message. It's from Mayuri. Did I reply? Upa is super popular, you know? Even more popular than the hero. Kakerokun. They're so cute, I want to collect them all. It's like how you used to collect back like fingerless gloves, remember? I have no idea who that is. I don't watch bad anime. Indeed, but you must never speak of that to anyone else. It was necessary to seal the abomination lying dormant in the right arm of mine. Fingerless gloves it is. There, that should do it.
Once it got dark, I started looking for more information on the mass disappearance phenomenon and Makase Kurosu's stabbing. I scratched through a number of news sites only to turn up nothing. But were those hallucinations after all? When I was looking at that channel, I noticed that a thread was posted by a John Teeter. Wait, John Teeter is back? John Teeter appeared on an American BBS ten years ago. Claims to be a time traveler. <clears throat> he claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer, the IBM 5100. His claims started quite a storm among the BBS denizens. Peter had also made several accurate and fragmentary predictions of future events. The start of the Iraq War, the spread of Kurt's Freud Jacob disease, for example. The previous from the future explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of its operation manual. And after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other, too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. After ten years of silence, the same John Teeter is now on a Japanese BBS? Ridiculous. It's obviously a troll. First of all, John Teeter is American. Yet now he's posting his ad channel in Japanese. Whoa. How many of these are there? It's a time paradox. I don't expect you to believe that it came from the year 2036. I see that everyone on this world line would like to know more about my time machine. Time travel technology was developed by CERN. They completed the first time machine in 2034. Time traveler. LOL. John Teeter. LOL. More details on the time machine. Did they sell time machines? How much do they cost? I've got 100 million yen saved. Can you send me one? I knew it. What's a world line? Holy shit, I want to redo my life in a time with a time machine! White race is good. It's the thing that divides the north from the south, right? Greater than 299. Give up the act, troll. CERN, huh? I haven't heard that one before. Still, if you wish to start a conspiracy theory, you should present more detailed evidence. So who are you? A CERN insider? Huh? Why put this on CERN in the first place? It's not like they're some evil lab. I've never ever officially aff uh, announced that they were researching time travel. Unless you're saying their particle physics work somehow morphed into time travel stuff. Here's their official site. It's in English, though. The hell are y'all saying? Use words, I know. He's Super Saiyan! Yee <laughs> Yeah, I can't ask this. Assess this properly. How am I supposed to keep abreast of the situation when this perv is making things up? Is anyone even funding time travel research? Just Google CERN, dude. It ain't that hard. <laughs> this is so accurate. Sex, ecstasy, roofies, narcotics. CERN. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. The human nullification project via time machine? Copied and pasted from Wiki Pedof. What? Pedophilia, also known as the Society for European Nuclear Research. The name CERN is an acronym for the French Society European pour la Research Nucléaire. It's the world's largest particle physics research facility located just outside of Genova, Geneva, Sweden. It sits on the border of France and Sweden and contains banks, libraries, post offices, and even dorms on its campus. Particle physicists from all over the world gather at CERN to conduct experiments. In addition, CERN currently employs several thousand full-time personnel. What's your point? Read it, scum. Seems more like a city than a research facility. More people here than in my hometown. Copy paste is better than nothing. It's a research facility where they study particles with the LHC and stuff. Since it's led by Europe, there aren't any Americans there, but there should be a Japanese research team. Fascinating. Wasn't this huge news on YouTube a few years back? Something about CERN creating a black hole that was going to devour the Earth? Are they trying to make a time machine? How the F do I- do you know this shit? LHC means- that's scary. L equals large, H equals hentai, C equals collection. 
You left way too soon, Absent Cell. You left way too soon. I'm in India. That news scared the hell out of me. LHC equals Large Hydron Collider. But certain face lawsuits in the West, so they're not completely in clear either. Large what? Drawing Collider? I googled the LHC and damn, that thing's cool, lol. It's like rocket engine straight out of a sci-fi flick. It's about 100 meters underground along the French-Swedish border. It's 7, 27 kilometers in length, about the length of the Yamanote line. Where'd Teeter go anyway? Plus, the accelerators inside the rings are in a vacuum, right? I don't really get it, but it sounds cool. Actually, uh, what does it even accelerate? 307. I mean, they'd be dealing with quantum teleportation, right? Any modern sci-fi is always talking about micro-level stuff to a macro-level to develop time machines or teleporters. It has a basis in reality, too. The microscopic world can provide hints as to how to solve our macro problems. Not that I'm trying to back up John Teeter or anything. Behold, I am John Teeter, time traveler from the year 2036. Explosions! No way, dude. Lol. He told me everything. The humans will be exterminated. Will Earth be destroyed? CERN has a monopoly on time machines. Not even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one. To say nothing of private citizens, CERN used their time machine for power. By 2036, the world had become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, there is a false peace founded on the complete eradication of liberty. What does the lol mean? Why did you come to this time? Was the Akiba satellite crash you're doing? Wait guys, Teeter sound didn't understand it. Channel lingo, let's keep it simple, okay? If you know what I mean. Get a trip code, asshole. What does it feel like to time travel? What are you, 12? Hello <laughs> means laugh out loud. Wait, like the quantum gravity theory? The one that's supposed to, to every, that's supposed to every phenomenon from the micro to the macro? Strongly agreed. Destroy all monopolies. I think a false peace is better than nothing. Conflict yields nothing but death. What if Teeter's the real per uh, perpetrator behind the new gen murders too? Getting excited. Some cats come back to life in the quantum realm or something. CERN, ten too strong. Can we just blame everything on Teeter at this point? All the misfortune in the world, my stomach ache, everything. Teeter son, if you're taking requests, could you pull up my workplace? Uh, if CERN has a monopoly, then I don't get to travel. Is micro the big one, or macro? Is time travel established as a legit business by 2036? If so, it wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that many other time travelers have visited our time. There may be more threats about coming in contact with them online. Manage the time machines of the Dark Ages, in my opinion. So we're headed toward a dystopia. Yep. Um, what? <laughs> Macro, duh. There's no point in leaving now, is there? Time for all the good kids to go to bed. Aw, oh, Sora, you left too early. <laughs> did, did that dude just jizz? In 20 years, I'll be dead anyway. Don't make fun of Teeter Tan. If you're a time traveler, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow in, in uh, Hokkaido? Namaste. I hope we can start landing, landing leading roles by 2036. Good thing I just started learning Gunkata. Make a time machine outside of CERN. Easy. You know how UFOs are real? What if they're time travelers? You're looking for a time traveler's wife? Let's get a drink sometime. How many times have the Tackers won the championship? I wonder what kind of anime is popular in 2036. Anime. We need Mulder Sensei. Planet of the Monkeys? Teeter made it clear those who control time control the world. Well, I have married that person. Will I have married that person? Will we have a happy family? Ah, that's so embarrassing. Eek! I want ice cream. So if I change the channel on my TV, would that change something in the year 2036? Sorry, but I'm a naughty kid. Honestly, in my head, a dystopian world is one where anime is regulated. <laughs> Never heard of CERN or the LHC or any of this stuff. I hope there are a lot of cute girls in the future. Come on, I'm a little strong there. <laughs> Stay away from marriage, seriously. Help wanted seeking college entrance exam answers. Peter should prove that he's actually from the year 2036. Try harder. Genetic mutation makes it so only male children are born. How about that for a dystopia? Oof. Can't say it.